someone you like is about to talk to you. Oh no, you're already blushing and about to faint. Important interview? You can't say a word without a hiccup or nervous laughter. But maybe if you learn why this happens, you'll get yourself out of an awkward situation next time. Watch this. 1. Blushing Blushing is natural and absolutely unique to humans. It happens when veins in your cheeks dilate and give out this crimson color. Science has little to no idea why exactly this happens, but it's a reaction to any strong social attention, be it good or bad kind. Interestingly, people that easily blush are usually more attractive. Some suggest it's because red cheeks naturally associate with physical health. So there is no reason to be shy because of your rosy face. 2. Sun sneeze Let's say you want to spend some fun time in the sun, then suddenly you start to sneeze and everyone is too worried to let you out. Not cool, but absolutely natural. It's called photic sneeze response, and it possibly, not 100%, happens because nerves that usually make you sneeze interact with the optic nerve that gets kind of overwhelmed by the strong sensation of bright light. Good enough explanation to calm down your close ones and let you enjoy the sunny day. 3. Trembling from cold Opposite situation. You really want to go out and play in the snow on a bright winter day, but your body shivers uncontrollably and your friends insist on going inside. Bummer. Next time, explain to them that you tremble because your muscles quickly contract to make you warmer, just like rubbing your palms together. Your body prepares for cold weather, it's not already freezing, and some people are just more prone to shivering than others. 4. Laziness It turns out you don't want to clean your room not because of your lazy personality or even bad habits. It's a defense reaction of your psyche, a complex reflex that you can't overrun. It tries to protect you from a stressful situation of being too busy and eventually overwhelmed by stuff to do. But you still have this stuff, so don't rely on this fact too much. No one will actually believe you, even if it's true. 5. Procrastination You're not just getting absent-minded for nothing, it's also a proper reaction of your mind. It just wants to restart and provoke you to be more creative by looking into some other things than the one you obviously don't want to do. It also accounts for all those times you immediately forgot what you wanted to do a second ago. It's just that the reset button of your brain works like that. 6. Twitchy Eye If your eye starts to twitch suddenly, first of all, is that the third cup of coffee you're having today? In most cases, this happens when you're a bit too generous on stimulating stuff, and coffee or really strong tea are great examples of that. Another possible reason is stress or a lack of activity, beware of that. The twitch itself is harmless, but it's here to tell you that you need more rest and less coffee. 7. Cold hands Some people judge others by their handshake even before an important interview starts. It's not fair, but it's the way it is. In reality, we can't control it if our hands turn stone cold. Your whole body prepares for a critical situation. It prevents blood from going to your skin, so more of it goes to vital organs and muscles. In other words, your body wants you to run from that interview, and you need warm legs more than hands for that. 8. Wet Handshake Especially nasty in a combination with cold hands and, unfortunately, they come hand in hand. <laughs> Sweating, in general, cools down your body, preparing you for intense action. Your body simply can't get the difference between having a serious conversation and running away from a predator. But your hands will sweat first, because slightly wet palms have a better grip. It doesn't help with handshakes, though. 9. Jelly legs They either feel weak or too heavy. In any case, you can't move and can't help but feel awkward when you're stressed out or frightened. The reason is the same fight-or-flight reaction, but some situations can't be avoided and your body makes the decision for you. Like the, maybe if I ignore it, it'll go away type of thing. 10. Becoming speechless or too chatty The person in front of you is the most beautiful human being you've ever seen. But the best you can do is just mumbling or a stream of consciousness that's clearly not showing your bright side. The secret is within you. For some people, talking is a powerful stress reliever. 
while others prefer to keep to themselves, creating a barrier. It takes some skill to collect yourself, but it's possible. Everything you need is to go against your own comfort zone. 11. Yawning This one reflex is really special because it not only originates from sleepiness, but is also quite contagious. Yeah, I can actually make my dog yawn. Yawning pushes blood to your brain, urging it to wake up and remain active. It also stretches your lungs and muscles to relieve stress and allow more oxygen to get to your body. It's contagious because through yawning, we make other people sleepy too, signaling them that it's time to get some rest. All social animals behave the same way as a way to synchronize a sleeping schedule. 12. Hiccups Even if you talk gibberish uncontrollably, it won't sound as silly as this sudden (laughs) interrupting every word you say. It may start not only from overeating, but out of stress too. Hiccups are spasms of your diaphragm. It lets air into your lungs, but your vocal cords suddenly shut up, resulting in this annoying sound. Good thing it's easy to distract your brain from hiccups by altering a sense of taste, for example. A pinch of sugar on your tongue can do the trick. Hey, here's what works for me every time. At the moment I hiccup, I immediately try my hardest to hiccup again. Really work on your breathing to deliberately make one happen. Continue to do this for every hiccup until it stops. It'll confuse and stop the spasm. Normally takes me less than three hiccups to end them. Let me know how it works for you down in the comments. 13. Running water makes a nature's call. Awkward, yes, but natural as well. We are too used to sounds we make when we hurry to occupy the bathroom. Any reminder evokes this memory into our mind and jumpstarts the process. There is no greater force than the force of familiarity, as they say. 14. Stress laughter and giggles. Even if you risk meeting an angry what's so funny in a difficult situation, sometimes you just can't help it. The key to this reaction is in the intensity of emotion we experience. No matter if this emotion is positive or negative, sometimes it gets so powerful that we become overwhelmed and can't appropriately react to the situation. Laughter is an emotional discharge that helps relieve stress and regulate the state of mind. 15. Stomach growls At first glance, you have no control over it, and your stomach has no way to keep sounds to itself, so it may get noticed in the most inappropriate situation. Your stomach growls when it jumpstarts a digestive process, even though you didn't eat anything recently. Take it as a signal to go munch on something. Yet, even a glass of water can help. It'll fill your belly until you have a chance to eat something proper. 16. Craving sweets. Ah, we've saved the best for last. If you can't stop eating chocolate when stressed out, you should know that it's the way your brain tells you that it's hungry. The brain is a greedy little powerhouse. Being only 2% of total body mass, it grabs 20% of all consumed energy even when it rests. Give it some stress, and it will crave for a lot more, and the main fuel for it is sugar. For example, people getting ready to give a public speech subconsciously choose to eat more sweet food than others. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.